and this is the angel hug for Tuesday November the 19th and um, I'm going to ask about what we're healing this week. Um, yesterday I sort of mentioned visibility and inspiration and I'm asking today what is it that we need to heal most of us individually collectively in order to come fully into our power to become more visible and to become more powerful channels of divine inspiration and love and light. Because the more divinity we bring to this planet, the more this planet rises in frequency, the more it has of that divine quality within it, within its structure, within its nature, within all of our being, within our consciousness, it begins to infiltrate. This is why we're here. This is what light workers do. We bring more light and that light does bring more of the divine nature in it and that divine nature brings transformation so that what was once tangible physical reality and matter becomes raised more into alignment with that consciousness of light that is coming through so um, okay let's pick prayer works <laughs> that is just perfect so we, what we're forgetting to do is to ask for help. What we are forgetting at the moment is that we're not alone in this. Yes, we need to come together and be unified. We need to state our intentions constantly, daily. And we also need to remember, remember, remember to ask the angels to connect with the divine, to ask God, source, I don't want to give you words, depends on your belief structure, but to connect with the highest within you and beyond. Connect with emissaries of light across all galaxies connect with the archangels particularly archangel michael who is here now wanting to usher in this new age even more strongly and to guide us all out of the shadows into the light where we can be seen where we can spread our messages and where we can really begin to make waves and create change but they have to be asked. The angels are waiting for us to ask them. So we must remember to come into our hearts daily and to make a habit of saying, please help, please help me to get my life on track and keep it on course. Please help me to have the courage to keep walking ahead in full faith because I know what my mission is. And please help us all to come together and to understand how powerful we are and to begin to manifest this reality in a much more tangible way. Help us, Archangel Michael, to create the heaven on earth that we so desire. So uh, the message is, Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for hearing and answering my prayer of, so if it's a prayer of individual healing, just say, please help me and thank you for answering my prayer to become more courageous, to become stronger in my convictions and to keep believing no matter what that it is possible for me to live this dream and for us all to collectively live this dream. So when it, it comes to a personal um, aspect of your life, today, Tuesday, is going to be a very important day to remember, to pray, to ask for help, and not only to ask for help with what you wish to manifest, to, with the change that you want to see, as if you're asking the angels to come in and to wave a magic wand, Ask them, because you are the empowered one, to change anything within you that is stopping you from seeing the truth of the situation and anything that is stopping you from seeing that you are capable of making that change. Also, ask for a deep healing to happen within you that will allow you to step forward now with new eyes, with new courage, with new conviction. So I'm gonna read that again. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, Thank you for hearing and answering my prayer of please make me more courageous. Please give me clarity. Please give me the courage of my conviction so that I can walk forward now in full faith. And that prayer will be answered. And the reason that I picked this healing deck today is because I know at the beginning of the year, Archangel Raphael said this is going to be a really big year for healing. And I know for a lot of people, there has been a lot of clearing. There's been a lot of healing of old wounds. There have been a lot of, of mending of the old ways, of overcoming those old issues that kept us back 
back that kept us stuck. And I just really want, as we're coming to the close of this year now, to reaffirm that and to just remind everyone that it's, we're not waiting for something amazing to happen. We are the amazing thing that's happening right now. And it's okay to ask for help constantly and consistently. And when we do that, we will get that help. The way will be shown. The most powerful ways that we can be helped are through our own consciousness, through our own bodies. So if you hand those things over to the angels and say, please give me a shift, the shift in consciousness that will enable me to make this change. That is one of the most powerful prayers that you can uh, make at the moment. And also our prayers for peace and for calm and for reassurance and comfort for those in need, those who are suffering right now, also go a long way. So I'm gonna say with that, because I'm being encouraged to, please send your thoughts and prayers out to the Philippines at the moment as well, because that work is continuing. It's, you know, these the repercussions of these events are something that we forget about when, when they, they stop being in the news and people stop talking about them, but they are uh, ongoing. So that's it for today, everyone. Have a great Tuesday, and I'll be back tomorrow. Happy healing. Bye.